worry, Stevie. You and Belle will be out there jumping in no time. That's it for today, gang. Call them out. Your old mule can't keep up, huh? Ignore her. You're just not ready yet. That's right. You just got Belle. You can't jump her yet. If Veronica knew anything about horses, she'd know that. If Veronica cared anything about horses, she wouldn't ignore Garnet like that. Hasn't Veronica learned her lesson yet? I guess not. Let's cool him out. What do you think you're doing? Taking care of your horse. You should try it sometime. Don't touch Garnet! I'm just feeding her a carrot. Something I wouldn't have to do if you gave her a treat once in a while. She's my horse! And I'll do whatever I feel like doing. I know, and you never feel like doing anything except for making people miserable. Shut up! Come on, if you won't feed her, I will. Let go! Feed her a carrot! Feed your own horse! Fine, I will. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing to worry about. But the pain in your stomach. They're doing some tests. Enough stalling, Max. Out with it. Okay. It may be. Just maybe. <clears throat> An ulcer. An ulcer. Maybe. What are you supposed to do until you get the results back? Just watch what I eat and stay away from stress. That's all. That'll be Higgins. Higgins, now that's why you've got an ulcer, because you can't say no. Say no to, um, to what? She's all yours, Max. This is Higgins. You're understaffed as it is. Max, even I know you're too busy to take on another horse. I'll look after him. You know I can handle it, and I work real cheap. That's a great idea. Mum. It's settled. You're hired, Carol. I'll get the rest of his stuff. Exciting happened today? Uh, no. Why? Did you hear something? What about? I, I was thinking maybe we could grab a cold drink together. Yeah, okay. But you might want to freshen up first. Oh. Making fun of me? No, I mean, Carol's gonna pay for this. This is serious. If you don't eat properly and reduce your stress, you'll have another attack. It's my problem, Mum. I'll deal with it. Until it kills you. Please. Just promise me that you'll take more care of yourself. Mrs. Reg says he has to stay away from stress or he'll have an attack. It must be his heart. Heart. Gotta be his heart. This is terrible. We have to make sure Max doesn't get excited about anything. 
We have to let everyone know. I'll finish, Higgins. You spread the word. Yeah, I thought so. An emergency meeting with the saddle club. How pathetic. It was important. What happened? Did a horse sneeze? You wouldn't understand. It's called responsibility, something you obviously don't know anything about. Like you do? You can't do anything by yourself. You're always running to the Saddle Club for an emergency meeting. I bet you couldn't even go a day without blubbering to them about something. I'm not betting you anything. That's because you know you'd lose. OK, what would your part be? Anything you want. Right. I bet that I can stop talking to Stevie and Lisa for a day. But you can't take care of Granite by yourself with no help. Deal. Loser has to leave Pine Hollow for good. What? Max is going to be so surprised. I can't wait to see his face when he sees how clean his office is. Here we go. Oh, no. What's going on in there? What? Are you girls doing in my office? Cleaning? Oh, I think I liked it better before. But we're just trying to help. Thanks, girls. I'll finish up if you don't mind. Scram! We talked to most of the others about Max. Everyone agreed to help out except Veronica, of course. Something wrong? OK, well, Stevie and I thought we should meet in the lounge to figure out how we can help Max. You coming? Come on, Carol. Something's up. You can talk to me about it. I always knew she was dumb. Carol, just in time. We've got tons of people helping Max out with chores. We're just trying to decide what we can do. Any ideas? Hello, Earth to Carol. Come on, we really need your help. Don't you even care about Max? So what, you're mad at us? Why? What did we do? This is stupid. Go ahead, ignore us, see if we care. Oops, am I interrupting? You weren't just about to say something to the Saddle Club, were you, Carol? I've always found her very stuck up. Now you can see why. At least I can talk to you, Higgins. Did you do something with Higgins? Isn't he your responsibility? I'm just taking care of Garnet. See? Time for an emergency meeting already. Nice of Carol to help out. It's like she doesn't care about Max. Or us. She seems to have no trouble talking to Veronica, though. We didn't even do anything to make her mad. Did we? You know what? Who cares? Let her talk to Veronica. <sighs> Why can't you groom yourself? I'll wash that saddle rug for you, Veronica. It's so filthy, I can't stand it. Uh, that's OK, Mrs Ray. I can do it. Well, that's kind of you, but uh, I've got all of these to do, so one more's not going to make any difference. Well, thank you. <laughs> but uh, Garnet's tack needs a good clean. It's more than just having a shiny saddle, you know. Dirty tack can be dangerous. Don't worry, Mrs Ray. I was planning to do that. <laughs> How about now? Well, good idea. <laughs> Does she realise how much my mother pays for my manicure? What? Ashley. You're 
tack always looks so good. Thanks. It doesn't take you that long, does it? Not really. That's what I thought. But Melanie didn't believe me. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just that Melanie said you were really slow. She said you couldn't even put a bridle back together by yourself. I can too. That's what I said. I said, that Ashley, she must be one of the best tack cleaners around. But Melanie didn't believe me. You know what you should do? Prove it to her. How? I've almost finished all my tack and I put Dime's bridle back together. See? You're right. If only you had some other dirty tack that you could do. I know. You can do garnets. Didn't Miss Reg tell you to do it? <sighs> oh, I don't mind if you help me out. Besides, what are friends for? Thanks, Veronica. <laughs> I'll go get a drink. Where's Higgins? You know, don't you? I've just been looking after my horse. How would I know? I left Higgins in his stall and now he's not there. What have you done? They're jumping in the top arena. Perhaps someone's trying him out. They'd ask first. Perhaps you should check with the saddle club. Stevie and Lisa would do anything to get back at you for giving them the silent treatment. I thought you were getting a drink. I'm on my way. It's okay, Max. I'll take that. What? You shouldn't be pushing heavy things like this around. Fred. Oh, but I should be cleaning it up. No, calm down. It's okay. I'll clean it up. You're right. You will. Oh, good. I was looking for you. How's Higgins? Fine. Where is he? Uh, he's, um... Yeah, I was just going to check on him. Oh, great. I'll come with you. Um, no. I mean, uh... You've got way too much to do already. You need to relax. What is with everyone today? Now, come on, let's go see Higgins. Max, I've got something for you. Did my mother make it? No, 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 this is my idea. I think you'll like it. Look, I don't have time at the moment, Deb. I've got to go and check on Higgins. It won't take long. Apple on a stick makes me sick. Makes my heart beat. Two are only six. Not because you did me, not because you clean. Just because he gets the boys behind the magazine. Girls, boys, having fun. Everyone's treating me like an invalid. Did you tell anyone about the tests? No. Mum must have. Okay, so how do you feel? Stupid? Try a little. Um. Just for me. Debra, I've never ommed in my life. Mm. Look where it got you. An ulcer. Nothing's confirmed. Yet. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just no wonder the way you're going. It's... And this is your way of relaxing me? You're right. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone with the tape for just a bit. 20 minutes a day is supposed to cure an ulcer in just three weeks. Huh? <sighs> <clears throat> Um, 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 on the range where the deer and the antelope play. You lost some time on the reassembly, but your polishing time's way better than Melanie's. Really? Oh, yeah. But, oh, never mind. What? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but I think Melanie's a better groomer. No way. It's just that I haven't ever seen you groom a horse before, so I'm not really sure. I'm really good and fast, too. I'll show you. If only there was a horse you could use. What about Garnet? 
You never groomed her after your lesson. I saw her. She looks terrible. I washed her. She'll be dry by now. I can groom her. Good idea. <laughs> Apple on a stick makes me sick. Makes my heart beat to 46. Not because you do. Guys, I need your help. Do you hear anyone talking, Lisa? Nope. Me neither. I'm sorry I didn't talk to you before. You totally ignored us. Because I made a bet with Veronica that I wouldn't talk to you all day. What? Why? Because, well, if I win, Veronica has to leave Pine Hollow for good. Way to go, Carol. But if I lose, I have to leave. I can't believe you took the bit. Well, she just got to me. I wanted to get rid of her so bad. I think I can relate. So what are you doing? What if Veronica walks in and sees you with us? You have to go. No, I need your help. Christy. I lost Higgins, and if Max finds out, I'll have a heart attack. You guys go look. I'll keep Max busy. I think Fergus needs to be watered. Where are you? There. Very good, Ashley. Much better than Melanie. But you missed a spot. Well, I'll leave you to it. I'll check the stalls again. Don't forget the hooves. But I always do them last. Not today. Not today! Just gotta check what feed we ordered. Red, can I have a word? Sure. Has Deborah or Mum said anything to you about my health? Uh, you're not getting upset, are you? I'd be upset if they'd been discussing my health behind my back. Uh huh. So? Uh. Oh. No. I'd be even more upset if I thought one of my staff was lying to me. Mm. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't say anything. Well, why not? Why not what? I asked you a question. Did you? Are you going to answer it? Which one? Um... You see how calm I am? Yeah. That's good, Max. Well, it's not going to last. Hello. 
Uh, no, sorry, Doctor. Oh, that's great news. Red! Uh, no, 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 not you, Doctor. Sorry. Thank you. I couldn't be happier. Goodbye. <sighs> hey, Max, what you doing? Checking on Higgins. He's fine. He's out with Carol. Now, what can I do to help? Help with what? You know, around the barn. I don't need any more help. You found him. Found him? Was he lost? Only for a little while. But don't get mad, okay? If I want to get mad, I'll get mad. And I'll lift <laughs> buckets and I'll wheel wheelbarrows and I'll catch a cold! Max, you have to stay calm. Um, the test came back negative. I don't have an ulcer. Oh, that's wonderful news. But how's your heart? My heart? We thought it was your heart. What? How did that happen? Well, I heard you and Mrs. Reg talking about you having an attack, and I thought... Okay. I appreciate everyone's concern, but I was a lot less stressed when I was allowed to run my own stables! <sighs> yeah. I think I feel better. And put my binoculars away. Shouldn't you be packing up your stuff, Carol? You wouldn't want to leave anything behind. She's not going anywhere. We had a bet, and she lost. I knew you couldn't go a whole day without running to your precious little club. But you cheated. You stole Higgins. So? Nothing in the bet said that I couldn't. Veronica, are you sure you want me to wrap her legs? A bet's a bet. <laughs> hey, Ashley. Have you been helping Veronica take care of Garnet today? No. Yes. Veronica was timing to see how fast I could groom Garnet and polish her tack. I was really fast, wasn't I? Well, I guess we both lost. So either you both leave, or you both stay. What do you think, Veronica? I guess that means you stay.